Okay, our last here for the week. The lucky last. We've only got nine races to date. All in preparation for Cheltenham next week. It's a two-mile handicap hurdle. And number one is Albert's Eyes. Two is Made in Archon. Three, River Skythers. Four, Cop Out. Five, Loud Dan. Six, Bell Fortuna. Seven, Hogmanay. Eight, Candid Dude. Nine, A Pink Day. Ten, Burger. Eleven, Chief Whip. And twelve, Princely. So twelve of them to challenge the, the Scottish County hurdle. And the rough. Well, they were off a little bit while back, but we're going to wait for them to settle down here. Alex Cherry will be looking to try and pick one up here at Musselburgh. I should think this is his home course. But we're going to be led by a pink day. And then we're going to be followed through by Cop Out, River Skythers, a couple out wider Hogmanay and Loud Dans are into the first hurdle of nine, and everybody's over it. The two at the rear at the moment have got themselves a little bit. Caught for tow, a chief whip and made in Archon. But uh, the rest of the chasing pack are about 10 wide, and the widest of all is Albert's eyes, the top weight. We're going to the second hurdle. Everybody skips over that. Chief whip would really pour at the rear, and uh, probably wondering why he even turned up. But a pink day, and these heavy conditions has gone off. And you know you can win here if you can get a good little lead. Very hard to be caught. So a pink day leads by about six. So Hogmanay out wide as we're going to go past the grandstand. Inside of that is Burger, River Survivors, Bell Fortuna, and against the fence, Graham Clutterbuck's Cop Out. And we've got a length back to Maiden Archant. And they're followed through by Loud Dan's Candid Dude, Albert's Eyes, Princely, and Chief Whip. So it's still a pink day. Oh, a jockey taking a hold. They went round that bend. Leads by six to Hogmanay. Should be very apt. I think Hogmanay could win it. So it's a pink day from Hogmanay, Bell Fortuna, Cop Out. Between those is River Skythers, Burger, followed through by Made in Archon. You get to the fourth hurdle, everyone's over it. Then we've got Candid Dude and Loud Dance, just being followed through by Chief Whip, Princely, and Albert's eyes at the rear. But a pink day, his lead's been shortened to about four lengths now by Bell Fortuna and Hogmanay. They're all over the fifth. Took it well. Albert's eyes was slow over it. The weight starting to tell. But it's a pink day now just by two to Bell Fortuna. Cop out. Burger. Hogmanay. River Skythers are all there. Everybody's over the six. Three hurdles left to take. So it's a pink day. Just under six furlongs to travel. Pink day still leads from Bell Fortuna. Burger in third. And the outside is Hogmanay. Cop out. Not really moving it well at the moment. Made in Archon. Light blue silks of Candid Dude. In between all those is River Skythers as they take the final turn to line up for the judge. It's a pink day and Bell Fortuna that lead by just a couple. Cop out coming out of the pack. But it's a pink day. Bell Fortuna's on his haunches looking ominous. But it's pink day. It's being pushed along. Bell Fortuna hasn't been asked anything yet gets to ask something now as as well as Candid Dude and Major Archon challenge at the seventh and the one that's leaked himself into the lead is a Candid Dude Pink Day's still running on in between horses Bell Fortuna who starts to make a move Maiden Archon's got nowhere to go so Bell Fortuna takes it up as we approach the eighth of the nine hurdles he skips over it well and fast so it's Bell Fortuna that leads now from Maiden Archon who's trying to make up the ground Pink Day's still plugging on out of the pack comes Cop Out Candid Dude Albert's eyes making some good ground so as we approach the final furlong it's Bell Fortuna, a pink day, Maiden Archon all over the last. A pink day gets back up in front. Bell Fortuna in second. Maiden Archon, cop out. These four, a pink day. Bell Fortuna hanging on. Inside half a furlong, pink day. Can he hang on to this? Here comes Bell Fortuna, just nosing in front. Maiden Archon, cop out on the outside. Bell Fortuna from pink day. And I think he may well have got up there. Let's look at the replay if we get one. Come on, Bell Fortuna. Close, but it's been given to Bell Fortuna by a nostril, I'd say. Well done. A pink day in second, unlucky. Been there since the beginning. Made an arch in the favourite, just didn't have anything left. And it is. Bell Fortuna takes it by a short head for Stu Gray. Second was a pink day for Alex Cherry. Third was Made in Archon for Martin Leader. And fourth was Cop Out for Graham Clutterbuck. Fifth was Albert's Eyes for Molly at Surfer. That's it for this week, guys. Don't forget it's Cheltenham next week. Don't forget to help enter the uh, second annual Cheltenham charity competition. Uh.